One of the newer capabilities that Veeam has recently introduced that leverages the Data Lab technology is known as Secure Restore. With all the ransomware attacks, viruses, and spyware that goes on in today's world, one of the nice pieces about this capability is leveraging your existing virus scanning solution to run a test and run a scan before we recover back into production. This also provides very granular control. This can be done against an entire VM. You can leverage this on more granular choices such as V-Disks, individual hard disks. You can also do this before you do a direct restore to Azure or Amazon, as well as EC2 instance disk exports. Now, what's really nice about this is when we're doing the scan, if an issue is detected, you have the ability to tell Veeam to simply abort the restore, or you can still recover, but leave everything disconnected from the network so that we don't potentially create a situation that would reinfect something that's already been cleaned in production. So a lot of use cases behind Secure Restore, it's all about virus and ransomware protection and doing a scan using your existing solution so that you know the definitions are up to date and what to do when something is detected. You have a few choices with Veeam. So let's have a look at those choices inside the software. Now that we're in the lab, let's take a quick look at exactly where and how you leverage Secure Restore. And the first thing to point out is Secure Restore is not all about full VM recovery only. You'll notice under the recovery mode options, you can leverage a Secure Restore, whether you're doing a full VM, a virtual disk recovery, also known as VDisk, a VM file restore, such as VMX configuration data, NVRAM files, and so on, as well as the two direct restore options that we've got over to Amazon and Microsoft's public cloud environment. Now, if we look at this in the actual UI and we focus on a backup that we've already got on disk, if we right click and let's say we chose virtual disks, notice that secure restore is the third tab down. So you've got that ability at the VDisk level. If we cancel out of this and we right click and let's say we wanted to do a direct restore to Amazon, Yet again, you've got the secure restore option available at your disposal, okay? Now to actually walk through our example, I'm gonna right click on this exchange server and go to restore entire VM. We're gonna leave everything on the default, hit next on the restore point. In this case, we're not gonna do a staged restore. However, we have created another video around how and where you would leverage staged restore that's available on veeam.com, as well as many other how-to videos under the learn section. Now, when you get to the Secure Restore section, it is an optional feature. If you turn it on, you'll then have the option to, do you want to simply abort the virtual machine recovery in this case, if malware is detected, which is certainly a common use case, or maybe you wanna do some penetration testing or stress testing or forensics analysis to figure out why you became infected in the first place. You can allow Veeam to continue that restoration but this time when we do the recovery, we'll leave that virtual machine entirely disconnected from the network. So the VNIX will have no networks attached so that we can still conclude the restoration, but it won't infect anything else in the environment because it's totally isolated. So this is a really nice use case. Now, one final option that you've got here is to scan the entire image, even if malware is detected initially. So this basically allows you to scan the whole thing, even if malware is detected early on, rather than just aborting as soon as it's detected. So this essentially guarantees that you get a full scan, regardless of what we find along the way. Now, the one other thing I'll mention around this is Veeam is not in the virus scanning business, right? We did not develop our own virus scanner. We simply integrate with the virus scanning solutions that you already have in place, and if we look at a few examples, Windows Defender is certainly a common one, uh, NOD32 from ESET, as well as Symantec. And honestly, any other virus scanning solution that you may have other than these, as long as it supports the command line interface with regards to sending a CLI command to run a virus scanner, we can integrate with that. It's simply an XML configuration file that you can modify and plug in the parameters that work with your particular virus scanning solution. Thanks so much for watching this video and enjoy your day.